Hello everyone and welcome to K-Sport. In the cotton of the IPL, which features some of the best cricketers from around the world, one team has stood out head and shoulders above the rest of the competition, and that is the Sunrisers Hyderabad. The Sunrisers Hyderabad have stamped their authority on this year's IPL, laying the foundation for success with their explosive batting displays. Their batsmen have consistently gotten off to great starts without losing any wickets in the middle overs, putting immense pressure on the opposition bowlers. Just have a look at the stats. SRH's batting numbers are absolutely astronomical. They have the best strike rate, run rate, as well as balls per boundary in this year's IPL. Imagine having a balls per boundary ratio of 3.4. They're scoring two boundaries in every single over. No wonder they were able to break the record for highest run scored in an IPL innings twice in the span of just 20 days in this year's IPL, scoring 277 runs against the Mumbai Indians as well as 287 runs against the previous record holders, Royal Chargers Bangalore. And just have a look at the sheer number of sixes smacked by the SRH. It stands at 77. The next best team is 10 lower with 67. While all the other teams are trying to play catch-up, let's see if SRH can break the record for the most number of sixes scored by a team in an edition of the IPL. Let's have a phase-wise breakdown of SRH's batting in this year's IPL. They started off the season by opening with Abhishek Sharma and Mayank Agarwal. And despite Heinrich Klassen's heroics, unfortunately, Harshit Rana's great last over spelled doom for them at the end of the match. In the second game, they decided to open with Travis Head as well as Mayank Agarwal. Unfortunately, Agarwal was dismissed in the fifth over and then came Abhishek Sharma, where him and Travis Head went on to stitch up a wonderful partnership of 68 runs in just 22 deliveries. SRH had finally found their optimal opening pair. The two left-handers greatly complement each other. There is no concept of an anchor with this opening pair, with both of them firing from the get-go. With having a balls per boundary ratio of 3 and 3.2 respectively, both of them just don't seem to slow down and are smacking bowlers left, right and centre. In the crucial middle overs, Heinrich Klassen is the man. He keeps the momentum in his team's favour and is absolutely instrumental in maintaining their success in this phase of play. And when it comes to the death overs, Heinrich Klassen bats even more fearlessly. It's like he was made for this phase of the game. He takes any opposition bowling attack to the cleaners. Did you know that he's one of very few IPL batsmen who has more sixes than fours in their career? And the cherry on top, SRH batters do not discriminate against pace or spin. They're going after every bowler once they have their momentum as an elite batting unit. Just look at their numbers, especially versus spin. They are clearly leagues ahead of their competition. From explosive starts in the power play to capitalizing on those great starts in the middle overs and finishing off with a flurry of sixes at the death, SRH are playing a truly wonderful brand of cricket, entertaining fans and setting themselves up to be serious contenders for the title this year. Is what we would say. But unfortunately, their bowling has let them down very badly. Compared to the league average, their economy and average wickets taken per game are just not good enough. Pat Cummins is the lone warrior keeping this SRH bowling lineup afloat. With an economy just shy of eight, he's also a strong contender for the purple cap. His stranglehold in the middle overs ensures that opposition batsmen have to fight in order to keep their wickets. Right from the power play, the runs are leaking from the SRH camp. Bowie is especially having a hard time this season. His economy has skyrocketed. His average as well as strike rate have taken a beating as well. He seems a shadow of the player he once was. And now he needs to step up to make things easier for the rest of the team. Nitish Kumar Reddy had a blind draw in innings against the Punjab Kings. But unfortunately, Mayank Agarwal as well as Rahul Tripathi just can't seem to get their foot on the gas. They were once both great clutch players for their previous franchises. But now they just can't seem to replicate that form for the Sunrisers Hyderabad. Similarly, barring bad comments, their entire bowling lineup is solely made of Indian players. And other than Natarajan, none of them have an economy below 10. And another obstacle that just might prevent SRH from getting their hands on the title is their fielding. They have the third most dropped catches this season and the least amount of runs saved by a team in this year's IPL. Despite all the obstacles with their bowling and fielding, SRH still have World Cup winning captain Pat Cummins at the helm. With his experience, he should be able to steer this team into a championship. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and let us know in the comment section below what video you would like us to do next.